How you doing folks? Ronald Kenyatta here with TotalHumanElevation.com. I am in Smyrna, Georgia, which is right outside of Atlanta, and I am at OPT Wellness. And today we're going to go over variations of the, in, the body weight inverted row. Now just to give you a little information about myself, once again, my name is Ronald Kenyatta. I am a certified strength and conditioning specialist, as well as a performance enhancement specialist. And um, I'm really looking forward to this exercise, working in baseball. This is a great exercise. This is a uh, exercise we use to address the back as well as the scaps. So um, I'm very familiar with it. I, I like, it's kind of fun to me because there's so many variations. You wouldn't, you, you know, you wouldn't think you can do so many different things with just basically doing a pull up on this bar. But as you're about to find out, there's all types of fun you can have with this exercise. So. Let's stop talking and let's start doing. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna start off with a basic body weight inverted row. And basically the difference is gonna be bending your feet. You're gonna, when I demonstrate, that'll make more sense, but that's the main difference here. So what we're gonna do, start in this position right here. And I said bending my feet, I meant bending your legs. I'm going to start into this position right here, and all I'm going to do is basically pull up. Now, I mentioned how we isolate the scap with this exercise. What you're going to see me do is pinch my shoulder blades together as I, as I row. Okay, so pay attention. This is, I'm in a relaxed position right now. I'm going to pinch my shoulder blades, then row. Pinch my shoulder blades, then row. All right? That's your beginner, um, excuse me. That's your beginner inverted row. Now what we're gonna do is slide our feet out a little bit. Now, this when the core becomes, you start to activate the core as well as working your back because you're gonna to have to maintain a flat, you have to maintain good posture to perform this exercise correctly. So I'm gonna start off the only similar position, the only thing is my feet are straight, all right? And everything else is the same. Pinch your shoulder blades and row. Pinch your shoulder blades in a row. All right? So like I said, only real difference for this exercise was the positioning of my legs on my feet. Now we're straight. Now we're activating our core. All right, folks, we just went over the, uh, the traditional inverted rows, body weight inverted rows. Now we're gonna get into the variations. The first variation is gonna involve this bench. We're gonna raise the legs up, activating the core. So let's slide this out a little bit. That should be about right. All you're doing is placing your feet up here like so. Everything else remains the same. Pinch your scaps and just row up. So let's go. Pinch and row. Pinch and row. Pinch and row. All right. Not much of a difference right now, but it might not look like much of a difference, but once you get those feet up, you are really challenging your core. And now what we're gonna do is take this core challenge to a whole nother level. All right, folks, now this is as challenging as this is gonna to get today. You know, this is an advanced movement, so I'm really, for you exercise uh, junkies or gurus, whatever you wanna call it, Let's see how you handle this one. You know, this is going to be a challenge for me. I'll tell you straight up. So let's see how I do. And I welcome you to take this challenge as well. Um, all we're doing is we're going to continue with the inverted row with the feet up. But now our feet are going to be on this physio ball here. So let's see how it works out. So before I begin, let's go over it briefly. We're still doing the basic inverted row. As you see, my feet are going to be on the stability ball. And um, this is really going to challenge your core, your proprioception, your balance, all the above. So inverted row with physio ball. Here we go. All right. Did okay, you know, started off a little rough, but as you can see, this is a challenging exercise. So um, 
The only thing really different is stability. You know, you're really activating your core, and actually, um, you know, it feels like you're even activating your uh, shoulders and uh, back a little more because you really have to stabilize. So, to me, this is a great variation, and I'm going to show you one more using the TRX. All right, folks, now we're going to go over our last variation of the inverted uh, body weight in body weight inverted row. And like I said, we're going to be using a TRX. Now, you have to be careful about this exercise because you want to make sure these things are adjusted to the proper range of motion. And as you can see, they can move around this way on you as well. So, you know, that just makes it a little more challenging as far as stability wise. And now, since you're no longer using a bar, you're using an individual handle, that's just going to challenge your back a little more and your shoulder a little more. Um, we're going to keep our feet down because having your feet up, that's an extremely challenging exercise. So, like I said, we're going to go with um, body weight inverted row with the TRX. All right, slide out, pinch, and a row. Pinch, and a row. Pinch and row. All right. TRX inverted body weight row. There you have it, folks. Um, you definitely feel the, uh, the, the stabilization that is necessary within your shoulders as you're working your back and your core with this movement. So that's all I have, folks. Different variations for your body weight inverted row. I hope you enjoyed this segment, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. This is Ronald Kenyatta. You have a great day.